Good morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well. Um, I'm doing a little standalone video on this. I've mentioned a few times um, in passing, I think, in the weekly vlog that I have um, recently come off HRT and a few people have asked me to talk more about it. And I know it's not something that everybody who watches my weekly vlogs would be interested in, so I thought I'd just do a little separate standalone video for those people who are interested and just talk a little bit about that. May I preface this with, I am only talking about my experience. I'm absolutely not any form of expert in menopause or HRT or anything like that. It's purely my own experience that I'm talking about. And obviously everybody's experience of these things is completely different, isn't it? Um, the basic backstory, I did make a video about, I honestly can't remember how long I've been on HRT, maybe like three years or something like that. Um, but I did make a video about menopause and HRT um, not long after I started HRT. If I can find that, I'll pop a link up here or um, down in the Discord, both, I'll put it up there and down in the description box. How will that be? Um, where I talked about having gone on to HRT and the reasons for that. So if you wanna watch that, you can do, but I'll give you a quick potted history, so to speak. Um, I went through menopause quite early, as did my mother and my grandmother. Not super early, but just early, early doors, really. It was all over by 50 for me. Yay for that, couldn't have been happier. Um, and it was really, for me, a symptomless menopause I, I sailed through it no problems at all all that happened really was my period stopped and that was great and then a couple of years after that I started having real problems with my sleep and with night sweats as well I'd never had any um, hot flushes at all while I was going through the menopause or perimenopause but I was getting these I was waking up in the night absolutely drenched in sweat and my sleep was I don't know if the two were connected necessarily, the sleep issues and the night sweats, but um, both were pretty bad. Um, and I was chatting to, of all people, my chiropractor about this, and she went, oh, go and get yourself on HRT, best thing ever. And so I thought about it, and I went and chatted to my doctor, and in the days when you could get an actual appointment to go and see a doctor, this was, hurrah for that. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it was, maybe it was prior to COVID then. I don't know, can't remember. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, I went and talk, saw my doctor about it and I was put on, I think, the lowest dose you can get of the oestrogen patches. And almost instantaneously, my sleep improved, literally within two days. It was like, a bit like a miracle, really. Also got rid of the night sweats, which was great. And so that was brilliant. I was really happy with that. Those were the issues that I had. I mean, I, I, I knew, having done a little bit of research myself, that HRT could also be beneficial in other areas. Um, like osteoporosis and that sort of thing, I believe it's beneficial for. And But for me, those were the two symptoms that I wanted to alleviate, really, the bad sleep and the night sweats, and it worked for both of those. So I carried on taking it, and I haven't really thought in any more detail about that just you know slap a patch on twice a week and get on with my life now i'm pretty sure that where i live they only really like the, there is you can't just take hrt indefinitely i think they only really like you to be on it for around 10 years um, i'm not quite sure if that if i was was on it for 10 years and then really push back hard whether they'd let me continue or not i don't know i haven't tried that and i've not been on it for 10 years but that was a thought as well that has been sort of percolating around my mind but um last year around the middle of last year maybe um, autumn time but you know late summer i think um i had um some postmenopausal bleeding um, because it can be a symptom of ovarian cancer, I believe, or some cancer could be wrong about the ovarian, but it, it can be a symptom of cancer. They have it's a, a two week wait. So you contact the GP and you're meant to be seen within two weeks. I think I was seen within three and a half or something. But um, I went and had an ultrasound to look into that. And um, the ultrasound, the lady who was doing the ultrasound, I got chatting to her and um, it was all fine, by the way. There was no problems. Um, but the lady who was um, doing the ultrasound, I got chatting to her about HRT and she said that she'd been on it and um, 
she she got to the stage that she was thinking to herself i'm not sure this is actually that i actually need this anymore i don't know and i don't want to be taking something that i don't necessarily need um any form of medication so to speak so um i think i'm gonna come off it and that was sort of her thinking and she'd come off it and i didn't do anything about it, but the, i had this sort of percolating around in my mind for several months and i was thinking well, is this actually still something that I need? Is it is it something that, you know, I could come off and get on with my life and it wouldn't necessarily make me have the night sweats and the bad sleep again? And I thought, well, the only way to find out is to try, isn't it? To come off it and see how I feel, see what happens and um, take it from there, really. But I decided I would go and chat to the GP about this beforehand. Um, so I went... I made an appointment to actually go and see my doctor i didn't want to do it on the phone um i had to wait three months for the appointment so i kept taking the hrt in the meantime um however i got, went and saw him and had a really good chat with him and i explained what i was thinking and he said well what i'm gonna do at the end of the conversation he said i'm quite happy for you to make the choice he said you can come off it or you can stay on it at the moment that's you know either way Do doctors are a little bit like this now aren't they they don't actually make a recommendation and to be fair even on some occasions when gps have made recommendations to me i've gone mm, no I, th I think i'm gonna take that un under advisement and m maybe not not actually carry out what you've suggested for various reasons you know not not a lot but that has happened in the past but um he, he sort of very much left it to me. He said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave your prescription open. So if you come off it and you want to go back on, you can just go online and um, order another prescription. He said, so come off it, see how you feel. And um, yeah, if you want to go back on, it's there for you if you want it. So that's where we're at now. He also said, while it's summertime, maybe don't come off it in case you do get the night sweats again. You're less likely to get horrifically bad night sweats when it's winter and it's not so warm, which kind of made sense to me. But then we had this really cold, miserable summer and I thought, you know what, I'm, I, I ran out of my prescription as well and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to come off it now and see how I feel. This was about a month ago, so I, I did cut, I cut some patches in half, so I went down to half a patch. He told me that wouldn't work, but I I wanted to sort of titrate downwards that just for my own um just because i thought that would be a good thing to do so i cut two patches in half and did half a patch for two weeks and then came off complete and i've been off completely for i would say maybe like three weeks now um i think you need a month to get it out of your system completely that's just me saying that as well i feel like nothing gets out of your system immediately does it um or you don't even if it's out of your system, I feel like I need to give my body a chance to adapt. You know, there might be an immediate reaction from my body and then I feel like I need to give it a chance to adapt. So I feel like, I, I felt like I needed to give it a month. Um, I feel, I've noticed brain fog. I have noticed brain fog and not being able to concentrate as well as I could before. That could be entirely coincidental, you know, it's very hard to know, but that has been something. I used to have the odd day of that and um, lack of concentration and now I'm having to a lesser or greater extent almost every day. Whether that's related or not, I don't know because I certainly didn't have brain fog before I went on to HRT uh, a few years ago. But um, my sleep is, it's not dreadful and it's certainly not as bad as it was before I went on to HRT. I would say it's marginally worse just the last week or so I've noticed I'm marginally more restless and been waking up in the night and not necessarily being able to get back to sleep immediately but it's nowhere near as bad as it was before I went on to HRT however perhaps it's slowly getting worse I don't know um and I haven't had any night sweats yet but again perhaps they're on their way to see me again I don't know um and I should probably say that I am very happy to, if I feel like I will be getting a benefit from HRT and going back on it, I will go back on it. But I wanted to come off it completely 
I'll probably give it two months now because I feel like I'm three three weeks have it three weeks in or three and a half weeks in I would like to give it another month and see how I feel after that see if everything settles um, I know there's a lot of benefits to HRT there are also a couple of minor downsides in that it can increase your risk of breast cancer a little bit it can increase your risk of stroke a little bit I already have a major issue with my weight and so I kind of feel like if I can manage with our HRT I'd kind of that would be one more risk one risk factor that i can eliminate you know i'm working on my weight as well um but yeah that would be an, a risk factor that i could potentially eliminate so that's another bit of thinking around why i wanted to give it a go coming off it um yeah so i would say whilst it hasn't been an unmitigated success coming off it yet i'm really pleased i'm doing it and trying it out because the only way to know is to come off it isn't it and see um and really it's just a case of watch this space so that's where i'm at with it so if you'd like another update after another month after i've been off it two months let me know um I might have decided to go back on it by then, who knows, but um, yeah, that's my experience. Um, anyway, I hope that was useful or interesting or something and hope it answered the questions that I have been asked over the last couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.